how to protect yourself from infection. Hello, good day to all of you. I hope you're in good health, my friend. You already know the danger of COVID-2019 that spread from Wuhan, China. How to protect ourselves from danger? WHO recommends people take simple precaution against the outbreak to reduce exposure and transmission. The spread of the COVID-2019 across China and to other countries including the U.S., South Korea, Philippines, and Japan has prompted expert and health authorities to offer advice how to reduce the chances of contracting the illness. 1,000 plus reported casualties as of these dates so far have been recorded in Hubei province where the outbreak started. Experts have warned, however, that about 200,000 plus people may already be infected far more than the 45,500 cases reported by China National Health Commission in China, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. The WHO is recommending that people take simple precaution to reduce exposure to and transmission for which there is no specific cure or vaccine. The UN agency advises people to frequently wash their hands with an alcohol-based hand rub or warm water and soap. Cover their mouth and nose with a flex elbow or tissue when sneezing or coughing. Avoid close contact with anyone who has a fever or cough. Seek early medical help if they have a fever, cough, and difficulty breathing and share their travel history with healthcare providers. Avoid direct and protected contact with the live animals and services in contact with animals when visiting live market in affected areas. Avoid eating raw or undercooked animals, products, undercooked animal products, and exercise care when handling raw meat, milk, or animals' organ to avoid cross-contamination with uncooked foods. Despite a surge in sales of face masks in the aftermath of the outbreak, experts are reminded over whether they can prevent transmission and infection of the airborne diseases. There is some evidence to suggest that masks can help prevent hand-to-mouth transmission given the large number of times people touch their feces 23 times an hour, according to one study. Dr. David Carrington of St. George University of London told BBC News that routine surgical masks for the public are not an effective protection against viruses or bacteria carried in the air because they were too loose, had no air filter and left the eyes exposed. Mask could however help lower the risk of contracting a disease through the splash from a sneeze or a cough and offer some protection against hand-to-mouth transmission, he said. The consensus appears to be that wearing a mask can limit but not eliminate the rest, provided they are used correctly. That means securing them over the mouth, chain, and nose using the bendable metal strip at the top to keep it snug against the contour of the nose. Experts say the best way to avoid germ with the outbreak and other airborne illnesses is to wash your hands thoroughly and frequently. Try not to touch your face or eyes. Avoid contact with people displaying symptoms. WHO experts advise against wearing gloves on the basis that hand washing is more important and people wearing gloves are less likely to wash their hands. Thank you very much. 
please click the subscribe button below and the bell icon so that you are notified if we have new video upload. Bye-bye. Take good care.